a space research and development engineer and a reliability engineer for Emma Labs Limited. <music> So I loved space from a very young age, looking at space shuttle launches and formations of companies such as SpaceX. Um, I then decided for my leaving certificate to do physics, chemistry, geography and applied maths, which I then went on and applied for a physics degree, which I did at Technological University of Dublin, TU Dublin. And um, there I actually carried out a lot of internships over the summers and around at around third year you do placement so i had a seven month placement with trinity college dublin in their solar physics group where i was very fortunate that they were building ilofar which is a low frequency array uh, radio telescope in Bern county offaly and i was very fortunate to be on their construction team uh, up to that point i knew i really liked astrophysics but once I got to work with iLofer being the instrument, I actually got to find that I actually really enjoyed the technology behind these, um, these objects that make these amazing observations of our universe. Uh, while I was there, I also was very lucky to meet a lot of PhD students. They also pointed me in a direction of looking at doing a master's in space science and technology, which I did look into and I ended up pursuing. Um, so after my third year placement, I actually was very fortunate the next year to work in Inner Labs where I work now. Um, and once I completed that, I got training at the European Space Agency in spacecraft operations. Once that was all completed, I started my master's in space science and technology at University College Dublin. <music> I was inspired by a documentary called The Universe on the History Channel when I was about 12 years old and it was specifically on the episode on how the sun was formed and uh, pretty much it explained not just how the sun was formed but what's currently doing and what will happen to our sun near the end of its life. Um, I was just fascinated by the physics of it, uh, nothing else. I just really was fascinated that humans could understand this amazing object and um, to a certain point obviously we're still learning about the sun till this day uh, but uh, I was just in awe of how we were capable of, do of doing this and I seen that was physicists that were doing it and henceforth I end up doing my physics degree and becoming a physicist. <laughs> So I'm working on sensors that go on board of satellites uh, for agencies like the European Space Agency. And I, that's all I can really say about it at the moment because uh, just NDA and the industry we're in. So I would recommend looking at Inalab's website and looking at the Irish um, space industry. Look that up and you'll find loads of information about what Ireland is doing in the space industry at this moment. <music> So I get to work on cutting edge sensor technology and I also am very fortunate that I work on three space projects within the within Air Labs. So that's what I specifically look at at the moment. I think it's really important to lower the costs of how much components cost for um going on board of satellites. So I want to make a difference in terms of making components that are cheaper to go on board of satellites to make the whole cost of a mission so much cheaper, meaning we can do more missions, uh, we launch more missions and so many more people can be involved in space missions uh, once the cost goes down. So that's what I hope to make a difference in. I hope to have contributed to a space mission um, to have also managed the project, but either managed one or in 10 years be managing one because space missions are quite long time scales. Um, I also hope to carry out more outreach, uh, keep it up in terms of talking to the public and hopefully also encourage investment into the space industry because that's really important as well. Uh, I also hope that do university lecturing, kind of like get 
students the opportunity to be in contact with someone who works in the industry they want to work in. So if you want to work in the space industry, to be lectured by someone who's actually currently in the space industry, I think is pretty cool. I did experience that in TU Dublin and I thought that was invaluable, inf like invaluable learning because they were in it and they were also teaching you. So yeah, I really hope to be doing something like that. <laughs> Well, you want as many people as possible pursuing a problem uh, because the faster we get to the solution and um, having someone with a different point of view also helps. I find that with women and men, we kind of aim, we have the same goals and uh, we, ha we come from two different angles. And if we do it on, each, on our own, we just end up at the end, maybe not getting to the solution. So I find people... I find groups that if you both have men and women to kind of pursue faster down the field uh, than others. Uh, but I think everyone should do science. So, but I'm very biased. <laughs> I would want, I would say, look into more science competitions. I did not know there were so many out there until I was in probably the late years of my undergraduate and um, I became involved in them because I think it's really important that people know they're out there. So if you want to taste the science at a young age, you can. Uh, I think that's really important. Uh, I also wish I learned code at a younger age. I only started out in code when I was in my second year of my undergraduate. Uh, it's a bachelor, so it's it's a uh, it, you're quite old learning it. So like at nineteen, I thought that was a bit old to be starting to learn a. A language such as code but um i think the earlier you start the better if you're not going to find it as hard or as steep as a learning curve so i wish i knew that then um transition your opportunities as well i didn't realize or i wasn't as confident i could say to approach a company like in the space industry or university to say hey can i have work experience with you guys in your research group Maybe you might not be doing much with them, but you actually get to maybe have hands-on experience, but also get to be there and in that atmosphere. And I think that's really important. So I wish I knew that. I would say make sure you're passionate about what STEM field you're going into because it is your career. Uh, so I'm assuming you're spending years uh, carrying out this work. So definitely be passionate. Um, I, I'd say, because like, for example, I got passionate over physics, not because of a man or a woman, I became passionate over it because of the actual science. So I think having the core of your passion being about finding a solution to a problem, I think that's really important. So pretty much if you're passionate about kind of any of the STEM fields, go ahead, achieve your dream.